This is a demonstration showing the creation of a new engineering calculation sheet, both in a spreadsheet program and in Jupyter Notebooks running the HandCalcs library. I've started the spreadsheet version first because it actually takes quite a long time. The spreadsheet video has also been sped up to 1.3 times speed so that they can, can finish in a comparable time at the end of the video. As I build the spreadsheet, I'll be adding formatting to it as I go. The idea is to create a calculation sheet that can be printed out as an engineering note and the calculation can be recreated from just the printed version. The finished product will have each variable name, its formula, and the result. Additionally, I'll be taking extra steps in building the spreadsheet, such as naming all of the pertinent cells with their variable names. This may seem extraneous and perhaps unfair, but it is so that I can create as much of an apples to apples comparison with the result of using hand calcs on Jupyter Notebooks. The formulas that will be typed in for the calculation on both the spreadsheet and in the notebook will be the same as much as possible. This is also so that the spreadsheet will be as easy to debug as the completed Jupyter Notebook. Here, I have started creating the same calculation sheet with hand calcs in Jupyter Notebooks. This is actually a notebook running in the newer Jupyter Lab. This video is at one time speed and I'm intentionally typing slowly throughout. The speed of the calculation sheet is further slowed because I'm assuming that Jupyter and HandCalcs has just been newly installed on the system and has not yet updated the default display template, which is what I'm gonna do now. If you are unsure on how to install HandCalcs in Jupyter Notebook, please refer to my Getting Started with HandCalcs tutorial video. For this demonstration, I'm going to take the time to set up swapping out Jupyter's default HTML export template. This is something you only need to do once as the changes will persist for all future use of Jupyter. To start the calculation sheet, I'm going to import two libraries, For All People and HandCalcs. For All People is a units library that I designed to work with HandCalcs. Jupyter Notebooks have two kinds of commonly used cells, Markdown and Python. If you're unfamiliar with Markdown, it's like a shorthand for writing HTML. It allows for quick formatting of the text. To convert a cell to Markdown, click outside the cell and type M. Here, I'm using one pound sign to indicate that I want a first level header or an H1 tag in HTML. Any text entered without any such tags is just going to be rendered as plain text. To change a cell back to Python, you click outside the cell and type Y. To render a cell with hand calcs, I use the cell magic syntax where I write percent percent and then the name of the function. For rendering a cell with hand calcs, the command is percent percent render. When you put that at the top of your cell, any of the calculations in the cell are rendered into LaTeX. You may have noticed that I put parentheses around the calculation 275 times kilonewton. If you don't have the parentheses, it will render out the substitution as well. In this case, the substitution is just 20, 275 times kilonewton equals 275 times kilonewton. Putting parentheses around an entire calculation allows just the answer to be shown. Here, I'm going to be using the parameters cell tag again, and it'll be to much better effect because you'll actually be able to see the three columns because we'll have more than three parameters being entered. You'll also see the variable named phi s. Any Greek letters that are written out as variable names will be automatically converted and rendered as a Greek letter by hand calcs. To use lowercase Greek letters, you use all lowercase for your variable name. To create, in this case, an uppercase phi, you would create a capital P, lowercase hi, as your variable name. This is in contrast to an Excel where we want to use, when we want to use Greek letters in our formulas, we have to go ahead and insert a symbol and look it up every time. You will notice in Excel, we've been entering in variables with subscripts. This is an extra step, but enhances readability of our printed out sheet. LibreOffice actually makes this a lot faster since there's a keyboard shortcut for it whereas in Excel uh, is often accessed through a menu bar. You'll see that we've entered now a pre-formatted representation of the formula that we are about to enter for the calculation in the Excel spreadsheet. We enter in the separate formula, so that way when we print the sheet, the person who's reviewing it can see what calculation was intended to generate the result. This is something in Excel that has to be done, otherwise the formula in each calculation cell is not visible. It's about this location where the hand calcs demo is catching up to the Excel. In hand calcs, you'll see that we're typing in the same formula to render the Euler buckling stress. But when we hit enter, 
not only do we see the symbolic representation, but we also see the numeric substitution and then the result. This extra step, the numeric substitution, was a primary design factor in hand calcs and is something unique. This is what makes it very easy to check calculations. You'll notice in hand calcs that the formula typed in to do the actual calculation is the same formula that's used to represent a calculation in LaTeX. In this way, there's no separation between the formula you use to calculate and what you see on the page. This is in difference to Excel, where we have to type in a separate representation of the formula and then perform the calculation. However, an error in the calculation will not be represented in the formula and any updates to the formula will not change the calculation. This can be a significant source of errors in Excel calculation sheets. You may also be noticing that any of the formulas that we use that have units are automatically being canceled out and we're getting the correct unit at the end of the calculation. This is what For All People is doing in the background. It automatically carries the units, cancels them out, and displays the correct unit as per convention. Contrast us to Excel when we have to enter in units as adjacent cells. Basically, they are labels. We have to make sure that when we enter the number into the formulas, that they're in the correct representation that we're expecting. It's at about this point that our calculation sheet in Jupyter is complete. We'll be able to go up to the top of the sheet, now enter a new input into our factor loads, run all the cells, and then have all calculations be updated. Then we'll be able to print out the result as an HTML page and then to PDF. Jupyter Lab has a couple of different ways of generating PDF sheets. One of them is to print to HTML and the other is to print directly to PDF via a pre-installed LaTeX installation. We'll be using the HTML printout for the simplest demonstration because it doesn't require any additional software. We simply export as HTML, open it up in our browser, and use our browser's print to PDF function in order to get the result. Here's the exported HTML. Now we can use our browser's print function to have it render out as a PDF. Unlike the LaTeX export, we can adjust the scale of the page in our browser. This can be very handy, especially if you're trying to get all calculations onto one sheet. Here we can scale down to ensure everything fits on one sheet. We'll save to the PDF and then we'll just leave it up on the screen. This is where the Jupyter demo is completed. However, you'll notice that in Excel, we're still typing in formulas to come up to the same point. The installation that we're using with Jupyter is the basic one. It uses the basic MathJax rendering method of rendering LaTeX in a browser. There are plugins for faster renderers, such as the Katek plugin developed by Khan Academy. I highly recommend that you use this LaTeX renderer instead of MathJax, as it is much faster. Now that the spreadsheet PDF has been generated, we can see the results side by side. My Excel sheet has barely enough formatting to be presentable, but it took considerably more time and steps to produce. More time can be spent formatting the spreadsheet PDF, but it is just more time. In contrast, the PDF generated by Jupyter with HandCalcs is well aligned. I spent a minimal amount of time in formatting, and my formulas are rendered out in a way similar to how they would be if I wrote them by hand, first showing the formula, then the numeric substitution, and then the result. Additionally, it took less than half the time it took to make a comparable calculation sheet in Excel. If you would like to try out HandCalcs and Jupyter Notebook for yourself, just follow the link in the video notes below to my GitHub repository for installation instructions. Thank you.